The attitude that people need is a determination to work hard, which Matty Jilks showed right from the outset. Um, he came with a, an injury, a bad injury that um, caused him a lot of problems for a good while, but he also came overweight. Overweight, he was actually over muscled, and needed to help him to um, increase his strength and power whilst also losing some muscle mass and uh, fat. He had far too much fat on his system. Matty was more than happy to give everything he got to make sure that he got in the right condition for his position in the football team. As regards games for Matty since he's been coming here, uh, we have got equipment that we can um, test at various levels, various types of training and he has increased his speed, he's increased his agility and he's increased his ability to react to a situation and put things right. They're the main things I would say that's happened for, for Matty. He's also shown the willingness to learn and to concentrate and to work very, very hard uh, to become the best he can be as a player. The cave is a piece of apparatus to test cognitive processing, peripheral vision and also very much concentration. Generally it will give you more power of concentration for a longer period of time. Two, three, seven, eight. One point five. The D2 machine is a reaction tester, uh, also peripheral vision. Um, there's more movement in the D2 machine than there is, obviously, in the cave. So it moves us on in complex movement as well as peripheral vision and reaction. <laughs> Squat and the deadlift are two very basic exercises that can give you a lot of stability and strength in the muscles and the joints, but they are not complete. There has to be a lot of different exercises along with the squat and deadlift to actually um, finish off the training program. Fitlight is a fantastic piece of kit that's wireless and we can virtually put the lights, there's eight different lights, we can put them anywhere uh, on a sports pitch, even in a swimming baths or in a gym situation where we can create agility, quickness and sprint training.
transfer over is, is due to the fact that we can actually put the lights in uh, the positions where a goalkeeper, like Matt Jill, could actually get into them positions and get out from them positions into new positions. He has to have good quick reactions, he has to have the agility for the movement and we can control the movements and the agility produced during the session with the fit line. The Cortex is a really good piece of equipment for balance and proprioception work, um, fine motor control. We get Matty to stand on it and throw balls at him and he has to throw them back, showing good balance and ability to control all his movements. Fast feet is working on the different types of movements that would be used on a football pitch. Obviously we're talking about Matty here and um, we're looking at short, sharp movements to get him going and then longer movements on a longer sprint. In general, the goalkeeper does very short movements for sprinting because of the short runs and also he's then got to be able to jump or dive and fast feet movements give you the opportunity to work on them with no pressure.